Hey, how's it going? My name is Keith, and if you've been here before, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, I'm glad to have you. In this video, I want to introduce a series of videos that I will be starting called Programming with a Screen Reader Using Python. This will be the first video, and in this video, it's just a sit down and talk just to introduce you to the series and what's coming up, um, what tools we'll be using. Um, make sure you know the version and then like I said just to make sure you know what's coming up especially with downloads or uploads as far as videos so um, like I said we'll be using a screen reader so I'll be using NVDA um, the next thing is Python so I'll be using Python the most recent version of Python 3 I will also be using for command line I'll be using um, git bash and that's G-I-T and let's see what else so with the command line and the screen reader and Python that would be basically the first three videos that I um, come out with in the series after this one to show you how to download them and then how to configure them to run um, how to opt yeah optimize them to run in the best way possible so to give us the best workflow because it's it's aggravating if you've got to deal with um, the software that you use that you need uh, that gives you the ability to read read the screen if you have to deal with bugs and problems like that where it won't read then that's just going to slow everything down so <clears throat> so the another thing is is the text editor that we'll be using so we'll be using um, visual studio code which is tested with nvda to work with a um, screen reader to be able for people who are visually impaired to be able to use it so <clears throat> we can go into the settings and optimize it for a screen reader so I'll be showing you how to do that and I'll, I, I'm gonna leave a link to the dis, um, this video in the description below that way so you can go watch it and then I'll be coming out coming out soon with a video on how to use Visual Studio Code going through some of the docs and um, especially extensions so let's see I want to make sure I cover everything as far as the introduction goes. Um, if I do miss anything, I will bring it up in one of the future videos in the series. So the series will go like this. We'll start out with the tools. We'll get the tools downloaded, the screen reader optimized, and um, then we'll move into Python. So I'll start showing you everything from the beginning like variables and numbers all the way to the end which is functions and classes so um python is very friendly it is a nice language a very very good first language i would recommend it as a first language um it's what's i believe most colleges are moving to as an introduction course to programming they're they're using python so um, we're going to roll through it smoothly, and then at the end of the series, we're going to be building a game. So this game will just, it'll be a simple game, just to guess the number game. But the idea is, is to use all of the fundamentals that we've learned as building blocks in order to build a game where you can not only, um, you choose how many players you want, the names, um, once you're finished, you can choose to go again. You can keep score, especially high score. You know, we're going to work on things like that. And I'm also going to build it with you. So that way, so you can see it from start to finish. And then um, another big thing I want to do is show you how to use GitHub, which is going to be a place where I want to, I'll, I'll store all the files for each project we do, each video. And then I'll put a link in the description for you to be able to go down. 
you know, you I'll show you how to download that. Um, you can do it from the command line. It's it's makes it a lot easier for you to keep track and then go back and practice, you know, because practice will make perfect. So um, I believe that's it for this video. I believe I've covered everything. Like I said, if I haven't, I will mention it in one of the future videos. And then please, if you like this video, like, and if you're new here, subscribe, and I will see you in the future. All right. Thank you very much.